I'm Nicole Verley. It is Monday, February 27th. This is News Nation Rush Hour, and uncertainty lingers tonight surrounding the origins of COVID-19. There's a new report from the Energy Department. It suggests the coronavirus did leak from a Chinese lab, corroborating reports from the FBI. But at least five other federal agencies have concluded the virus was transmitted naturally. So what is the true source behind the worst global pandemic in more than a century? News Nation senior Washington correspondent Blake Berman is live outside the White House. So Blake, there's some contradictory information here. What is the Biden administration saying about all of it? Well, Nicole, when you go back to a few years ago uh, and this lab leak theory, it was almost viewed as some sort of out there fringe theory of the, the possibility of, of that's how COVID started. Uh, but fast forward now to today and the Department of Energy is giving credence to that very possibility over here at the White House. They were repeatedly asked about it earlier this afternoon. They are not yet confirming reports that the Department of Energy has concluded COVID-19 most likely originated in China due to a lab leak. The new conclusion is made with what is classified as, quote, low confidence. It's now the second government agency, though, to reportedly take that stance, as the FBI is said to believe with moderate confidence that a lab leak is to blame for the global pandemic. The lab leak theory initially shot down in early 2020 by top prominent scientists. But in May of 21, President Biden ordered the intelligence community to take a deeper look at the origins of COVID-19. Now, at this point in time, despite the latest report, the White House says the government can't yet pinpoint COVID's origins. What the president wants is facts. He wants the whole government designed to go get those facts. And that's what we're doing. And we're just not there yet. Now, Nicole, as for the scientists uh, who initially dismissed this idea of a lab leak theory, the White House was very quick to defend today uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci. They described attacks against him as, quote, unquote, counterproductive. Nicole. All right. So, so it looks like it may have originated in a lab. How prevalent are these labs? Yeah, so obviously the focus right now is on China and specifically one lab in particular, the Wuhan Institute of Virology. But when you look at labs that deal with uh, the most uh, sensitive uh, infectious diseases, they are not just in China, really, they are all over the country. According to the group Global, all over the world, rather, uh, according to the group, group Global Biolabs, who tracks this, there are five laboratories in China equipped to handle coronaviruses, and these labs uh, exist all over the world, 38 different countries in total. There's at least 69 labs around the world equipped to study uh, these life-threatening infectious diseases. And Nicole, roughly 80% of them, according to this group, are run by either universities or by governments. Nicole? All right, Blake Berman live from the White House tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.